Through much of his life, duties in war and government kept George Washington on the public stage. If it had not been for those obligations, he would rarely have left this place. And in the same way that his dynamic character helped to shape a young America, here at Mount Vernon, here at home, his strong personality shaped the mansion and the estate to reflect his own individual philosophy and interests. A handsome West Parlor became the focus of the family's social life. This is where family portraits were hung, and in the ornate pediment above the mantel is a carving of the Washington coat of arms. Family meals were served in the small dining room. Washington's fondness for green, which he found grateful to the eye, is indicated by the rich color of the walls. In the lower garden, not far from the kitchen, many vegetables, fruit, and herbs were grown for home use. Washington experimented with new plants and fertilizers. He hired skilled gardeners and corresponded with authorities in England. He tested crop rotation and replaced tobacco, which depleted the soil, with wheat as the plantation's staple crop. He became one of the most progressive farmers in America.